This is Education City Stadium. It's pretty easy for fans to get here from central Doha because it's only about 10 kilometers away by bus or metro. It's going to be hosting eight games throughout this tournament. Now, as the name suggests, it is located between many international and local university and school campuses. And being at the heart of such an area with so many top brains from the Arab world, you'd expect it to be cutting edge. It certainly looks that way. The 40,000-seater stadium has earned the nickname Diamond in the Desert because of its shape. But there's substance behind the sparkle. Organizers say this is one of the most sustainable stadiums in world sport. Around 28% of it is made from recycled materials. And you'll notice that the pitch is below ground. It's done on purpose so that the rock and the soil surrounding it prevent this stadium from getting too hot. Less heat means less energy needed to cool this huge space down. This is one of three stadiums to have a sensory room that provides a quiet space for fans who might otherwise find a noisy and busy stadium a challenging environment. World Cup is over, this whole top tier will be dismantled and sent overseas to develop football over there, reducing the capacity of this stadium to 20,000 seats. And this is how the other half will enjoy this World Cup. As you can see, we're in the VIP area, very comfortable seats, food and drink on tap. And if you're not into football, there's also books on the art of falconry for you to be able to read. Now, after this World Cup finishes, places like this VIP area might be turned into classrooms for the future generations to be still able to use this venue. The last pep talk to take place here will be ahead of a quarter-final. The walk from the changing room through this tunnel will come to represent the end of one of these teams' journeys at this World Cup.